Here we are back uh, after uh, well, our first video shoot and I wanted to just kind of sit here in the studio and uh, talk about my new Zermatis and uh, how, uh, how and what it is and why it just becomes and has become part of me. Um, you know, for many years uh, I played one guitar, one shape and uh, it's just been really weird trying to find something to replace what, what feels like home. And uh, I've had so many just wonderful people send me stuff and uh, build me stuff and uh, record it so much uh, for the Red Lamb stuff and um, yeah, I, and this just this beast here, this this new weapon of mine. So I wanted to kind of talk about it and just say how pleased I am with the craftsmanship. Um, obviously, uh, it's one of the finest guitars ever created, as far as I'm concerned, and. Um, you know, 24 frets, um, crazy inlays, of course, but it's the attention to detail that makes a, a wonderful guitar. And uh, this has them in spades, and um, just the, the little things, um, even when the, the horn, you know, might rest against your leg, it's just, it's beveled ever so gently, and uh, of, of course, the, the, the handmade uh, bridges and so forth, um, and hand scrolling, that's just really nice and wonderful, and just, Glorious touches, but it's the precision. This thing is, it is like a Swiss watch to me. And uh, people who know, who know where I've been during this uh, kind of desert time know I can kind of <laughs> relate to that uh, of what precision really is. And um, this takes it to a new level. Um, the tone out of this thing is just incredible. And uh, it's gonna come with me around the world so many times, hopefully uh, I lose count. And, uh, we hope to build some really uh, custom, custom um, variations on the theme that uh, don't deviate from from ninety nine point nine percent of it, um, but uh, just add a little uh, flavor. Cause uh, having having a rack of all the same is is just a beautiful thing, and um, being able to transmit a little bit of myself um, through these instruments is. Uh, it is what it's all about. And, uh, I'm just real happy with these guitars, man. They're just the perfect weight. Um, they're actually, you know, Honduran mahogany, which is extremely rare to find something that's uh, that's really light. Um, um, and uh, this this whole entire guitar only weighs eight pounds. So that's one of the keys and one of the tricks is uh, good wood, and uh, and that's why some guitars just are a little more costly than others. And that's what brings the tone and. Uh, the tone of yesteryear, uh, as well as the the tone of, of what we can use to to use these instruments to create music for the future, and uh, that's what I hope what I'm trying to do in uh, my return here. So uh, uh, I don't know what else to say except the fretwork is beyond mortal. <laughs> it's just uh, it's incredible, and I found the shape that fits me. And you know I'm a very small person in stature, so it's very difficult for me to find something that. Uh, that uh, doesn't look kind of oofus on me. And uh, I'd like to say thank you to, to everybody at Zematis as well for uh, for being so kind to us and everyone will get to see this guitar in the in the new video, of course, um, and, uh, and around the world as we embark out. So thank you again for uh, making these guitars and uh, I hope to just kind of spread the word of, of uh, what Zematis was, what Zematis is, and why it's still here and uh, why such prominent people have played them in the past and uh, their unique creations that still live on today. So thank you very much for giving me that opportunity. Uh, peace out.